Hey everyone and welcome back to our goody two shows let's play of Dark Souls. Let's rest as usual. Can we level up? Nope. So we won't do that. So last time we did uh, kill the catacombs boss and we went to the tomb of giants. I forgot to actually speak about the right of kindling that we got from the boss. So that item actually allows us to kindle the bonfire beyond its normal limits. Uh, until now we could only kindle the bonfire to 10 estus. We could offer only one humanity and that bonfire would give us 10 estus every time we rested at it. But now with the right of kindling we can actually kindle uh, two more times and get 20 estus from each bonfire. So that really uh, makes the game like easier. You have a lot more items to heal. But now let's actually speak with this guy. This is actually the NPC uh, that we could have met in the catacombs. But we missed him there, so we'll speak to him here. Good day. You look reasonably sane. What are you doing in the catacombs? Are you a cleric or something? So this is another one of those questions. We are actually a cleric, we started uh, the cleric class, but we need to lie to him because he doesn't like clerics at all. And if we say we are a cleric, uh, he's actually gonna fight us. So we'll say no to him. No? Really? Hmm. Then I'd have no qualms telling you. There's a fine stash of treasure right down that hole. I found it first, but, well, we're friends now. I'll split it with you. In any case, have a look. It'll shimmer you blind. <laughs> yeah, some sounds really trustworthy. So, let's see. Yeah, what an asshole. He didn't lie about the treasure though. There are items over here. Some souls. And this is actually the first time that you are guaranteed to uh, find a white emitting item. You get a skull lantern over here. Like If you haven't gotten one uh, in the catacombs, this is where you will find your white source. But until here, you have to like uh, walk in darkness but yeah up there that guy was actually uh, trusty patches he's a character uh, that like uh, makes an appearance in almost every uh, game uh, that FromSoft makes I think the first time that he appears is actually in the Armored Core games but don't quote me on that I'm not sure and here we have actually a familiar NPC, if you remember. This is actually the lady that uh, we met uh, at Firelink. You're no hollow, are you? Thank goodness. Please be careful. There are two fierce hollows not far from here. They were once brave knights, my former escorts. Who would let such strong spirits be hollow so? Heavens, is there nothing? Nothing at all to be done. So yeah, this is where uh, Petrus actually abandoned her. And her two night escorts actually went whole. And now we'll need to fight them. They are actually just over here. They can do miracles. Woo! Okay. Oh damn. Careful not to hit her. Because that can totally happen. Well, 
Come on, guys, do do an attack, please. Okay, we did kill one. That leaves only this one, and he's also dead. They do not respawn. But now you need to speak with her again. You banished those two hollows, did you? It pains me to think of the trouble my failings have caused. I am certain that both Vince and Nico are grateful to you. Thank you so very much. Here, these belonged to them. You deserve them more than I. So from her we get uh, the miracle replenishment. I am certain that both Vince and Nico are grateful to you. Thank you so very much. So this miracle actually uh, heals us gradually. It's a heal over time spell. And now we actually have saved her. So she'll move to Firelink. And over here we do have some items, so let's actually gather them, and this is kind of a ambush, just as soon as we get this item, these guys pop up, then they don't really move much, but they deal a ton of damage, they have a considerable, considerable amount of life, ooh damn, and yeah, they have this attack here. And there are a lot of them. Ooh, them. Yeah, you can totally use uh, ranged attacks on them. Okay. And yeah, this kills it. 250 souls like that's really not enough for uh, this guy for the amount of health and damage that he does like just wait out their attacks and then uh, do your own they're not uh, that hard you just need to be careful about the like fall down attack There we go. Like these guys do have a chance of dropping white titanite chunks, and these are actually the chunks used to uh, upgrade divine items, divine and occult items, I think. And over here we have like a little cave. We have uh, more of those like uh, bone columns or whatever but we are in the corridor here so we can fight them uh, one by one okay one more okay and that leaves just you And being very careful with them, don't want to get hit. And there we go. Didn't get a drop, no problem. And over here we have a ladder. And this is obviously a fake wall. So. If you go over here, there are a bunch of uh, skeleton archers shooting large arrows at us, but more importantly, inside here, there is uh, the large divine ember, which allows you to upgrade divine weapons to plus 15, like the maximum amount of uh, upgrade, plus 10 by the way. I'm, I was mistaken. Plus 10 is the maximum amount for divine weapons. But yeah, there, uh, there you can find uh, the item for that upgrade path. But uh, be careful because it is uh, really like heavily guarded. 
uh, by like five or six giant skeletons. Like people usually go there, sacrifice themselves, like get the item as fast as they can and then just die. Because it's really hard to go in and go out. I'm not even gonna get the item. So we are back over here with Patches. Let's uh, talk to him and see what he has to say for himself. Oh, you, I, well, let's just calm down. Talk about things. I did you wrong, but I didn't mean it. These temptations, they can, well, overcome me. You know what I mean, don't you? Please, forgive me. You and me, we're jolly undead outcasts, aren't we? So, if you don't forgive him here, he will um, try to bribe you with some humanity, I think. Uh, but, we are the Goody Two Shows Cleric, so we will forgive him because he will have a use later in the game. Oh, brilliant! A second chance! Wonderful! I had a feeling you'd understand. I did! But, uh, if I were in your shoes... Who knows what I'd have done. But now we're friends again, eh? <laughs> yeah, he's a real dick, but whatever, he's fun. Like, who knows what ha I have, what, whatever he said. <laughs> Can't even repeat it. We're friends again! And yeah, over here we have one of the most hated enemies in the entire Soul series. Like uh, these here undead, like dog skeletons or whatever. They are really strong, they deal a lot of damage, a lot of stamina, uh, they take a lot of stamina away even if we block. So yeah. Hey, woo, thought he would fall down. But guess not. Yeah, this attack over here. Oh damn. Yeah. You just drink. Hey, fall down. Ooh. Yeah. This attack. Okay, and yeah, we are totally dead. Couldn't do anything to him, I was too passive, but yeah. We'll have to fight, like, maybe three, three or four of them. Uh, like, we must fight them. The others we can just skip. But three or four, we will have to fight for certain. So now I will be like a little more uh, aggressive. Okay, killed that one. Hope we don't have to go here again. And over here we have a uh, fog wall. Just pass through. And yeah, we have arrows, you can hear a black knight coming at us, so this is like uh, kind of a difficult place. We do have more of those uh, skeleton dogs, so yeah, just wait for the black knight over here. We'll try to parry him actually, like the easiest way of dealing with him. Ooh, damn. I have no idea what hit me there. Perhaps an arrow? Yeah, it was an arrow. Okay. Like, uh, do an attack that I uh, can actually parry, please. Oh, too soon. So, okay, we'll actually go back. 
drink. Oh, and yeah, the arrows uh, go really far. So does the Black Knight. Drink again. So hopefully the arrows don't get us over here. And here we can actually go around him and backstab him. But yeah, I really want to bury him actually. There we go. Okay, here's the backstab. Quite tight net chunk, he also has a chance of dropping his halberd. But he didn't do it, although we have 3 humanity. So I actually enchant my sword. And yeah, here's a dog. I'll actually try to go straight for the skeleton. Okay. And over here, this saw is actually meant for us to find, uh, like, we can't actually see it over here, but we can fall down here. It has a special item over there. We try, we'll try to uh, find the next bonfire first, probably. And let's actually try to fight this guy. Oh, damn the damage. Okay, he actually fell down awesome. So now we can actually go over here. This is where uh, the Black Knight actually was. He was guarding this item. The Effigy Shield. So I think this is, uh, again, one of those... Uh, Occult items, it's not really uh, upgraded uh, in the occult uh, path, but it does speak of occult practices. I'm just trying to look for the way forward here. Yeah, it's over here. We do have a skeleton here and a dog over there. So we'll try to uh, war one of them at a time. Can we ward the dog out? Actually enchant our weapon. And try to do so. Okay, we did war him out. We we'll actually go up here. Okay. Do some damage. Okay, he jumped back, so we'll actually drink. Okay, one more strike. There we go. A thousand and five hundred souls. Oh damn, we killed the dog, don't die to the skeleton now. Okay, here we go. So over here, in this place, to the left, we have actually the second bonfire of the zone. So let's actually rest, level up, we can't level up. So let's actually use a soul. Like, let's use a brave warrior soul. 5000, perfect. And let's do dex, keep strength and dex equal.
And now I actually want to uh, go back to the place where we could fall down. We can actually get that item over there. So let's try to deal with this dog. Oh, this attack. Yeah. This attack can, like, outright kill you. Good thing that he fell down. So let's go up now. There's this dog. Let's work him in. We will have to uh, actually fight him. But we have a like, column that we can uh, boot him. We can hide behind. Let's drink. Ooh, damn. Okay, that wasn't good. So let's go here, drink again. And where did he go? There he is. I'm surprised that arrows can get us over here. And yeah. Ooh, damn. Ooh. Yeah, and we're dead. Yeah, these guys are total uh, BS. Like, their attacks are, are really, really, really strong. Like, we have decent stamina, we have decent shields. But you can see, like, uh, they have two attacks that they totally... Uh, yeah, this attack. Totally, like, like, rips us apart. This attack also. Like, total bullshit, and we are dead again. And yeah, we also had a buffer issue there also. Wanted to drink, but didn't have enough time. Went for the shield, but... The buffer said, no, you told us to drink. Awesome. Like, again? Fuck you. And again, awesome. I'm freaking surprised at that. Just gonna rest. And here he is. Don't do that attack. Yeah, he has really large sweeps. Okay, he fell down. Like, damn. We have to actually, like, hope that he would fall down for us to defeat him. Awesome. Okay, we killed that guy. Now let's hope that we can kill uh, the other dog over here. Come on, dog. Oh damn! Did he? At did we at least hit him? I think so. There we go. Okay. Now, don't die to the archer. So, when we are uh, like at the base of the archer, he can't actually hit us. So, let's roll over here. Who almost didn't make it. So, this here is actually a trap. Like, uh, a lot of uh, these uh, skeleton columns will come up right after uh, we take the item, so we'll try to be fast, roll, go over here, roll, and there we go. We escaped, we got the Kolotus Silver Serpent Ring. That's a ring used for uh, acquiring more souls. While you wear it, uh, you get more uh, 
you get more souls from enemies and from bosses and it can be used actually right after you kill a boss you don't get the souls for like 5-10 uh, seconds if you equip it during that time you can actually get uh, more souls so it's useful that way I don't think that uh, we'll use it but whatever that's where that's where you can find it but yeah that's gonna be it for today guys stay tuned